And now hey guys, what's going on? Got another Mythic Plus, plus video. We're here with a plus nine stone vault. <laughs> we have the fortified and devour affix, I believe is what it's called. Um, but anyways, we are playing the storm build. Although it isn't a uh, full storm, it is a little bit of element list, I say, but um, you know what? Works out pretty good and I die pretty fast there. Uh, but yeah. Anyways, uh, this new affix that uh, the devour thing is actually pretty interesting, in my opinion. Uh, but each and every one of these Zalatath affixes seems to make Shaman shine very brightly. The reason why is because one, first week is just CC the orbs or purge them or whatever. Shamans are very good with that with both Thunderstorm and Cap Totem as well as Purge. Second week, uh, it was collect the orbs that really didn't really do anything you know last week it was kill the ad nothing too special there but uh, we do have a pretty quick burst situation where uh, we just use primordial wave or tempest we, we have some fast acting damage that really doesn't take long to bring down that ad in the first place then this week which is the fourth affix is a dispel mechanic of any type of dispel so poison cleanse totem or curse the spell whatever one you want to use we seem to be very versatile in all these affixes. Now, I believe there is one final fifth one that is coming out next week, so we'll have to see what that is. But overall, all these affixes seem to make Shaman, especially Enhancement, shine very brightly. And uh, yeah, I'm very happy to see that. Also, on a bigger note, we have the announcement of 11.0.5 patch, I believe is coming out. I'm not 100% sure. It could just be the event happening. Might not be the actual patch, but uh, I'm crossing my fingers. But anyways, we are getting a massive change. And from what has been seen, and if you didn't read it, WordUp did his little thing on the new rework. And I had to check out some of the stuff because he mentioned a lot of bugs. And I, was, I thought to myself, yeah, I do remember that being a little bit weird, but I didn't realize how bad it was, so I tested it out, and yeah. Um, like he said, the Feral Spirits proc with physical Feral Spirits, you can get a massive modifier because of how much it procs. I believe he mentioned he got up to like 2.8 thousand percent, or 2,800 percent increase to physical damage dealt because of how much it procs. Because with the proc, it summons one Feral Spirit, right? But with our four set, it actually summons two. So we're getting an extreme value. So it seems to be procking a lot due to Stormstrike. And when I was using the Elemental Spirits, it didn't seem to proc nearly as often. So I have a feeling that the regular Feral Spirits seem to proc off a of Stormstrike more often than anything. As to why I... It might be because they are procking off of their preferred damage dealt, I guess. So if you're using elemental spirits, it doesn't proc often because you're not really doing a, you know, spammable amount of damage on that element, whereas physical damage is getting modified to do that. Um, so we could be seeing more of a physical damage side of enhancement coming forth. But at the same time, like he said, it could involve some if they don't fix the bugs it could involve some heavy nerfs and that would not be good but if they leave it untouched we could be looking at like a i think he said like 30 to 40 percent damage increase almost with uh with all of this so very interesting to see um but on the other hand, we are getting a few different changes, such as uh, Doom Winds. The proc is going to be Storm Strike damage, which is pretty big. And the reason why is because it's going to scale with both physical and uh, nature damage buff, which is perfect for Storm because Tempest generates two or one, maybe, uh, nature Feral Spirit. But uh, our regular Feral Spirits also buff it. Now, it's not like game breaking or anything, but it does make Doom Winds a bit more viable to as a button to press in a sense, I guess, or just it's on proc or whatever, you know, the, the damage bonus from itself rather than just relying on the Wind Fury. And then he also mentioned that, so we're getting a new talent for Crash Lightning. And what it does is it basically 
uh, reduces the cooldown of Crash Lightning when it strikes one target, but also guarantees a Wind Fury proc on that. And what he mentioned was it does not work with the internal cooldown of Wind Fury. And if you didn't know, Wind Fury does have an internal cooldown, and I believe it's one second, so it prevents itself from procking on its own. So what? It, basically, it's to prevent infinite procs of one tapping somebody in a sense, if that makes sense, or just an infinite amount of wind furies. Back in vanilla, that used to be an issue with one shots where wind fury would proc off of a wind fury proc, which would proc off a wind fury proc, resulting in an absolute raffle stomp. Right? And basically, this wind fury generated by crash lightning is not on that uh internal cooldown so you could potentially have it proc off of itself which is an interesting interaction but in the other way like it, it might not even be that big of a deal uh, but during a doom winds window you could get a wind fury procking a wind fury type of thing so it'd be interesting to see what happens but other than that um totemic we could see some increase in playability but i i personally don't feel like it will now if the physical feral spirits stay the way they are with the generation from them from the from the new talent where it's just a proc we could see that becoming a thing just because the surging totem itself does a significant amount of damage and it does flame strike damage which means it generates increased damage from both physical and fire damage the Enough. same goes for sundering which is also a new part of the hot hands proc or i guess i was just being dumb here but anyways uh it is a new part of the totemic tree where every time you have hot hands your lava lash triggers a sunder now because that's going to scale with flame strike damage right both physical and fire damage we could see physical feral spirits becoming a thing for totemic in maybe aoe situations uh just because both the totem and sundering are going to be doing a significant amount but he did mention that the proc from lava lash the sunder does not proc wind fury because the new wind fury for totemic is actually a aoe flame tongue effect so that could potentially break that side of things as well so we're looking at a lot of different mechanics coming to enhancement which is very exciting but all these changes are on the line of absolutely breaking the spec into oblivion and by that i mean we could be seeing a almost a worse situation where ret paladins had in dragonflight where they took over absolutely everything and that could be an issue because one blizzard has always shown that they don't like seeing enhancement at the top although we are currently still at the top which is very surprising to me uh but typically blizzard likes to nerf us into the ground fairly fast but if they don't fix the bugs and they keep nerfing us we could be seeing a much bigger problem uh that being said do i think that'll happen probably not it's been a while since enhancement has really in my opinion felt this good and coming into this patch i believe it is feeling much much better for storm we're getting two charges of storm strike right and that is going to feel much better especially during ascendance windows and even just base uh, attack form we're we're not having to rely on other buttons we, we more or less just use our storm strike and off we go and i i do like that in a sense and you don't have to rely on both ice strike or lava lash to reset it you're you're more or less just pressing storm strike and i feel like a lot of people enjoy that side of things but unlike currently where you're running root of elements and all you really want to do is storm strike spam even if you're capped on maelstrom you want to spend the maelstrom because now even if you are running root if you're running root of elements or even if you're running ascendance spending maelstrom has become more important than just spamming storm strike and the reason being is because of uh frost wolf uh or is it frost wolf or frost witch i think it's frost witch the proc from that is going to be huge because our physical damage is going to be buffed significantly from the feral spirits 
but at the same time, I believe they increase the damage of Lightning Bolt and stuff, especially when you get Tempest procs and things like that. So you want to be just spamming your Maelstrom as much as possible. So they've reduced our generation a little bit, but increased uh, the power behind it. So that way we're actually spending it because currently all we want to do is spam Storm Strike to generate that Ascendance proc, right? But now since Ascendance, Root of Elements is now going to be triggered by Lightning Bolt, Chain Lightning, or I believe even Elemental Blast if you have it. I could be wrong on that one. Um, so that means Maelstrom Spenders have become more important than Storm Strike, so you want to be spending a lot more, which is very nice change because I think sitting at 10 stacks of Maelstrom and spending Storm Strike just really doesn't feel good because you're just wasting this resource that has become somewhat irrelevant and all you're doing is just resetting storm strike right that's all you want it for but now it's becoming a thing where you want to actually spend it to proc ascendance which is good but my opinion i still think that the two minute ascendance is going to be more viable than the root of elements just because the way they changed it so what they originally had was on damage you could proc ascendance from lightning bolt that has changed to on cast the reason being is because Chain Lightning had about five chances to proc it, and Lightning Bolt during Primordial Wave had six chances, or seven chances, I think, even. So you, you were generating a lot more Ascendance procs than usual. You, you would just be constantly in Ascendance almost. So this new change where it's on cast has also kind of changed it, but I believe they're still saying it's still proccing quite a bit. Um, but he did mention a different change that they could do, which I kind of agree with. Uh, the original was spending Maelstrom. So for however many stacks you get, X amount of chance to proc an Ascendance. I think that'd be a much better way to, you know, generate that. But at the same time, during Ascendance, we are constantly spending Maelstrom because of Thorm's invocation. So that could generate uh, infinite Ascendance in a way, which technically could still happen but at the same time i don't think it's as worrying as having maelstrom spent so it it's a really fine like enhancement is always on this you know very tight rope very high up to where if we just slightly crank the numbers just a little bit we're going to be broken beyond any other class out there but if you just turn it a little bit to the other side right we're going to be absolutely useless so it's one of the issues with the specialization that has been in a constant state because of how much rng we have which really is kind of an issue and i hope they fix it but it has reduced in this patch but on whether or not stormbringer or or sorry storm or elementalist is going to be more viable i truly believe that they're going to be kind of um, almost similar in a sense, but I feel like Elementalist, you have to put in a lot more work, right? As per usual, but I think it's been dumbed down quite a bit in a way where you're constantly going, you're, you're almost going to have a constant hot hands proc, right? Due to the new totemic buff. And that what that buff does is when you drop your totem, your next Lava Lash or Fire Nova triggers hot hands. So every 26 seconds, you're guaranteed a hot hands proc, which is insane. So that's also going to make it easier on you for the priority inside of hot hands because you, you're basically just going to be hot hitting lava lash and then another spell. That's all you're going to be doing. Um, but outside of that, it is going to still be, you know, that annoying rotation, but it's become a lot easier in a sense because of how much hot hands you're going to have. But at the same time, you still gotta do all the ice strike and stuff and you still have the totem to drop you you have a absurd amount of buttons to press so i feel like that's what a lot of people are shying away from so if they can figure out a way to dump like bring that back a bit because e even with ice strike becoming a proc although i've played around with it and i actually don't like it as much because it, it doesn't really you you might not be guaranteed that 12 seconds ice strike right to buff your frost shot which 
at the same time, your your Ice Strike also generates two Maelstrom guaranteed. If you had the talents, obviously, but majority of the time you're going to have those two talents. It Honestly, that proc, it, it doesn't even feel all that great. I'm not going to lie. After playing around with it, maybe other people might have the, a different opinion, but to me, I, I still prefer using regular Ice Strike. And that's because of how unreliable that proc is. It doesn't feel the same as Elemental's Ice Fury, where it seems to proc a whole lot. This one does not seem to proc very often, and I think that's an issue, especially when you want to combine it with Hailstorm, right? So, I, I think that might come into an issue. I feel like you're still going to be having Ice Strike Baseline rather than having the proc chance of it. Also, you're removing an RNG effect and stuff like that, so it, it's really tough to say. But for Stormbringer, I, I think it's been a massive W for Stormbringer because it's brought the spec into a way where you're not really relying on Ice Strike or Hailstorm or Lava Lash. You're just, you're just Storm Striking away, right? You're spending your Maelstrom. The only thing you have to worry about is using Tempest with your Primordial Wave. Now, in an AoE situation, you're still going to want Primordial Wave and you might even want Lava Lash because of Voltic Blaze. What Voltic Blaze is the new one of the new talents where when you use it, it's basically Flame Shock, but AoE. Um, it well technically it's Earth Shock, but AoE. It, it's hitting five I think it's hitting five extra targets, so maybe six targets in total. Uh, but it does extra damage, so it does about four hundred K damage, roughly, and then it applies flame shock to everything. Um, with Totemic, you can take that, and it, this is quite an interesting interaction. When you use your Surging Totem, your next Flame Shock deals 300% increased damage. If you take that with Voltic Blaze, it's actually going to buff that Voltic Blaze damage, causing it to deal a uh, 1 million damage hit or something like that, right? And I, I think that interaction is going to be very interesting. It also makes pressing Flame Shock viable. But at the same time, like, do you really want to be pressing Flame Shock? It's hard to say. And it's at the same time, it's a random proc. It's not guaranteed. I think it's a proc off of uh, your Lightning Bolt and Chain Lightning. So it's going to be very interesting. But also, um, we're getting a new talent for Sundering as well, which I think is going to benefit Stormbringer more than Elementalist, just because of how much you're going to be pressing Storm Strike and proccing. Uh, the storm surge but basically what this new talent does is it reduces sundering's cooldown by 10 seconds right pretty big but it removes the cc effect so if you didn't know sundering causes everything to be incapacitated for one to two seconds basically it's just like a, a an instant interrupt or stall effect right so it, it helps with that uh but basically it's removing that and then every time you generate a Storm Surge proc, which is your Storm Strike reset, you have a chance to reset Sunder. Now, Sunder itself has a chance to generate that and multiples because of how many targets it hits. So in my opinion, we might, and I haven't tested it because there's not enough target dummies to really test it out. Storm Strike is very uh, interesting, but... Basically, you could just sit there during your Doom Winds window, just smashing Sunder. Like, that that's my opinion behind it, is you might just be able to smash Sunder all day, which would be very interesting because it's an uncapped day a week. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm not sure how things... All I can say is everything is looking, like, really good for us, but at the same time, we are at... We're very close to being broken. And that is also not a very good thing. One, because we will be hit with nerfs, especially if the bugs aren't fixed. Um, if the bugs are not fixed, then it's going to cause a really big issue with both balancing and stuff like that. Um, but at the same time, it hopefully, hopefully they will fix it before they release the patch. I mean, it, it does make more sense if they do, but at the same time, y you never know. But yeah, so those are all the things that we're looking forward to. So if you do really enjoy the Stormbringer version and with its Storm rather than its Elementalist style, you are getting a massive buff and also a much better play style as well. Because I know as much as everybody loves it, Smashing Storm Strike is fun, but 
in my opinion, when you're sitting at 10 stacks of Maelstrom, it doesn't really make sense to smash Stormstrike anymore, right? So that's one thing I like about the new changes is it's making our spender more of a priority in Storm, which is great. Um, but at the same time, we are getting Doom Winds with an AoE effect, you know, and it scales with both physical and nature damage, which is massive. And then the Sunder change is also pretty big. Although I am going to miss the interrupt effect, I think just having it be like this mass AoE button is going to be very, very interesting. And then the choice node between Crashing Storms and this uh, single target version of Crash Lightning makes it more viable than taking Lava Lash or Ice Strike, right? So I, I think these things are just awesome, awesome changes. And Ascendance, Ascendance was supposed to receive, or it was a bug. I think it was a bug where Storm Strike wasn't really getting its reduced kill down during Ascendance, which in my opinion, when I was testing it out, I really didn't feel that at all just because of how much storm strike was triggering its prop right to reset so it, it's really not that big of an issue if it has plus we have uh frost switch to force it off cooldown too so all these changes honestly are just feeling great and i am excited for this patch but at the same time i'm a little scared because if they don't balance it correctly we could be seeing ourselves broken to a point of we might get nerfed into the ground but who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? I I'm crossing my fingers. Everything's going to turn out fine. They're going to fix the bugs required or figure out what's going on. Because, yeah, th that's the big outlier there is if, if they don't fix the issue with the physical feral spirits, then we could be seeing something else. And Stormstrike could still be sp being spammed because of how much feral spirits we're getting and how much damage Stormstrike's going to do. But, yeah, guys. Anyways, that is it. Enhancement is still going to be strong. It's Don't worry about that. Uh, it, it's also feeling great right now. But yeah, it's going to get even better in the future patch on the 22nd. But yeah, anyways, guys, that is it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Laters!